I always wondered what it would be like to own a toxic asset. Maybe because when we first started covering the crisis, no one wanted them. You remember toxic assets, those wild and dangerous financial instruments? Packed full of mortgages, before the financial crisis, they looked rock solid. But then, when people started defaulting on their homes, these supposedly sturdy assets started falling apart. Three trillion dollars worth of bonds, many crumbling. They brought down some of the world's largest banks. They almost destroyed the global economy. No one wanted to touch them. No one but us. We bought one. We wanted to know what those pesky little creatures are up to now. And also, I wanted a pet. We spent $1,000 of our own money and bought a sketchy little toxic asset. She's filled with countrywide mortgages. You remember countrywide? They give out loans to lots of people without asking if they had jobs or money. Well, countrywide's gone now. But the houses aren't. They're all over the place. Big ones, little ones. We're rooting for you, Guy. Every month, people make their mortgage payments, and we get a small check in the mail. But remember, we spent $1,000 on this thing, so we could lose money. We could break even, or we could make money. But our toxic asset, she is not well. For the most part, people are falling behind on their mortgage payments and making our pet sick and weak. At some point, our toxic asset will die. We just don't know when. We'll keep you updated. You can follow the journey of our pet and make a prediction about how long she'll last at npr.org slash money.